Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Hey, I thank you again for joining me. Today, I want to talk about uh, the art of forgiveness. Sometimes it's not easy to forgive uh, friends or even close family members if they wronged you in some one way or another. It's not easy. But when it comes to just say an enemy, that's even a lot tougher to uh, forgive. So I just want to share some scriptures with you about about forgiving and i think yes it is the hardest thing to do sometimes there's ego and human pride involved in it other times it's just hurt and pain you just hurt that what happened to you and uh and you can't bring yourself to forgive if you was hurt or if something happened to a loved one of yours the loss of a loved one just say but um <clears throat> i just want to share some scriptures with you about about this inspiring scriptures and let's we'll start out with the book of proverbs chapter 19 verse 11 if you have a bible out please please follow along with me or, or check them out later just remember the verses write them down on a piece of paper or something verse 11 states uh, <clears throat> the discretion of a man deferreth his anger and it is his glory to pass over a transgression pass over it let it go sure it's it's easier said than done but it's possible just let it go don't let vengeance or pain or anything hurt you do your best to move on uh now i'm gonna go to uh proverbs chapter 25 chapter chapter 25 and verse uh shoot for verse uh, 21 right here if thine enemy is hungry give him bread to eat and if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. And a companion to that, uh, Romans chapter 12, uh, verse 20 to 21. Check that out. Uh, a, compa a companion verse. But yeah, if you're hung you're hung your enemy's hungry or thirsty, the word, the word of Yah says, give him water, give him food, help him out. Be a better person. Be a better person than them. Uh, let's try to go to... Uh, Matthew, Matthew 6, Matthew 6 here, see. yeah, Matthew 6, uh, 14, hey, I'm going to go to verse 14, and it says here, for if you forgive men their trans trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you, uh, 15 says, but if you Forgive not men of their trespass, neither will your father forgive you your trespasses. It's kind of like being a hypocrite. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of like he's a big enough being. He's going to he's gonna forgive you, but he expects the same out of you. If he's going to show you mercy for all your mishaps, sins, trespasses, you should do the same to your fellow man. And uh, it doesn't mean forget. I just want to clarify that. Forgive and forget are two different things. You can forgive somebody, but not forget. Learn from it. It doesn't mean you have to be. You have to hang out and take care of the person that wronged you, as far as babysitting them and everything. But be good to them, and you know if they're broke down on the side of the road, help help them change a tire, do whatever. And uh, you you know the. Father in heaven, he he would love that and put a smile on his face because that's his character. His character is about forgiving, love and forgiveness. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, Matthew 18 now. Let's see Matthew 18, <coughs> excuse me. And it says, if I get to it, Matthew 18 21 to 22. 21 to 22 says here, Then came Peter to him and said, Master, how often shall my brother, uh, brother sin against me that I forgive him? Till seven times? Yeshua said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seventy. In other words, keep keep forgiving him. Keep forgiving him. That's what he, Peter, that's what he told Peter. This is Yeshua's words. And he's the greatest teacher to ever set foot on this planet. And he's he's the greatest teacher that's going to set foot on it again, basically. So that's from the master himself. 
I'm going to jump to uh, Book of Romans now. Go to follow me to Romans, and it's going to be uh, oops, chapter chapter twelve, chapter twelve, verse fourteen, and uh, it says right here, "Bless them which persecute you, bless them and curse not, and curse not." And like Matthew, the companion here is Matthew chapter five, verse forty-four. You could look that up too, but bless them if they curse you, bless them. Be a bigger man. It was fa the Father in Heaven. He'd love that because that's that's a, that's a righteous character. Righteous character to have, and be proud of in a biblical proud way. I mean, not in a bad way, but uh, now we'll go to. Let's try Ephesians. Yes, Ephesians uh, chapter four, verse uh, thirty-two, and thirty-two says. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as Yahweh forget for Messiah, Messiah's sake hath forgiven you. So, so repentance, of course, brings forgiveness, and we wholeheartedly repent, and we are forgiven, but we don't do it again. And, uh, and Messiah, and Messiah, Messiah, the Father and Son, and they. They expect us to uh, emulate their behavior when it comes to forgiving others. Uh, see if I could go to uh, find uh, Colossians here. Got a good one in Colossians chapter three, chapter three, verse thirteen. Uh, forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if. Any man hath a quarrel against any, even as Messiah forgave you, to also do you. So, and 14 here, verse 14. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfection. So right here, right here, Paul says, you know, just like what Yeshua says, basically forgive. Forgive forgive your everybody, enemies from your loved ones. To your enemies, to even a stranger, a stranger you don't know, have never seen before, or talked to. Now I'm going to go to Second Peter here. Find Second Peter here real quick, and uh, I'm going to go to uh, chapter three. Second is that second? First Peter. My handwriting, my handwriting is not very good. Uh, <laughs> Chapter chapter three, eight and nine. Verses eight and nine. Or yeah, eight and nine. Finally, be you all of one mind, having compassion one to another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but uh counterwise, counterwise blessing, knowing that you are there unto called that you should inherit a blessing. So even Peter, Peter agrees with Paul and Yeshua and Proverbs and all of them. This is what the book is about. Love is also to do with forgiveness. Our Heavenly Father forgives us for our trespasses and our sins if we ask for it wholeheartedly. Uh, now I'm going to go to uh, Second Peter or First Peter. I mean, First Peter chapter four. I'm going to go to uh, uh, verses 8 to 9. And above all things, have uh, fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality to one another without grudging. So, charity, forgiveness, cover, covers a multitude of sins. That is, that is breathtaking. And uh, that's something you need to think about. When next time somebody wrongs you, it might take time. It might take time for you to forgive somebody. Uh, it ain't like no no exact time limit on it because we're all human. We're all human. We got feelings and we've got emotions and things. We handle certain situations in different ways. But many ways, that's about forgiveness. And uh, I'm glad that you followed me and and. Uh, Watch my videos, not just this one, the other ones. 
And comment below. Let me know what you think about forgiveness and uh, any stories, whatever, about you forgiving somebody. And also, uh, also watch, please watch my other videos and give me a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Um, I'll see you again the next time, brothers and sisters. Till then, peace out and shalom.